Right now, you're looking live at the First Coast Young Stars Learning Center. The Northside Daycare tonight is under investigation because of a toddler that was left all alone in that blue van for more than seven hours today. We got him out, and he was hugging me, and I was hugging him. The child's parents are demanding answers. How could their son have been forgotten? The Department of Children and Families is also demanding answers. Channel 4's Kent Justice is joining us now with more. Kent? Yeah, Tom, one of the parents' sweet memories can be peeking in on a small child even when they sleep. Instead, that local mom's plan to spy on her son at nap time turned into a moment of panic and may have saved her son's life. We spoke to the little boy's parents, and right now, his mother explains how she discovered her child was in danger. Got him out, and he was hugging me, and I was hugging him, and just thanking God he was still alive. Jaleesa Youngblood is talking about this three-year-old, her three-year-old, Hadron Hodge. He had bounced back by the time we interviewed his parents, ready to grab hold of our microphone and play with his siblings. But Youngblood says her child spent hours Monday alone and stuck in this daycare van. Youngblood says she stopped by First Coast Young Stars Daycare to check on Hadron and couldn't believe he wasn't in his classroom during nap time. We looked at all the children that was laying down and I asked the daycare driver, where was Hadrian? And she said he should be in there somewhere. So we double checked and he wasn't in there. So my mind just told me to go look on the van. Youngblood says that was what the daycare director thought too and they both responded by running outside. Went to look at the van and I seen he was sitting in the same seat that we put him in this morning. And he was scratching and deorienting, and we just, I went to the daycare van and grabbed him out. We are definitely going to be investigating to try to get more information about what was going on here. Department of Children and Family spokesman John Harrell says while DCF investigates, First Coast Young Stars Daycare already faced scrutiny from the authorities on probation due to supervision and transportation issues. These probationary licenses aren't that common. Only about 2% of child care facilities in Duval County are actually on a probationary license. So we had some concerns, but this ratchets it up to a whole new level. DCF tells us that the daycare had been working on a probationary license since early July. That's when DCF gave the business six months to fix the issues or have its license revoked. Tom?